Hello, this is Beth Dixon from Walter State Community College and we're going to be doing the mean, the sample variance, and the standard deviation of a sample data on our TI-84 calculator. So ignore the screens here, we're going to escape my picture here and get to this screen and hopefully resize some things. It may or may not allow me to resize. Nope, won't let me resize in the middle of it. But you should be able to see the calculator now. Our data consists of, uh, we're just going to put it in here and we're going to consist of five numbers. So we're going to first, with our calculator, press the stat button and then choose edit by pressing enter. Then I have some data in my list so I want to clear the list. There are a couple of ways I can do that. I can go and move my arrows up and over however I want to do that till the L1 is highlighted and press clear and then enter if I should be up here and hit the word delete, notice that I've lost L1 and I can lose all of those till I no longer have a list. That is a common thing for students to do. Do not do that. If you should happen to do that, then you will need to press stat and then choose number 5, setup editor, and then enter and that will restore the list stat then edit, it restores the list to back to where they were. Another way to clear list is to press stat and press number four, clear list, and then tell it which list to clear. And I'm going to hit the second key to get the blue numbers above my primary keys and then L2 to clear list two, which still had data in it and then go back to stat and edit and now I have clear list. I'm going to input my data. I'm going to input 4, 10. Notice after each data I type in 19, 20, and 23. Now in this case, if I checked that against my list, I would see that the 20 was mistyped. There are a couple of things that we could do. I could type over it. In this case, let's type over it and hit 19. If I had typed 20, then 21, and then 23, I could type over 1 and then I can delete an entry and if I had accidentally deleted too many entries I can also use the insert key. The insert key is above the delete key so I can go second insert and then type in 19 and then enter and it well, it didn't insert, it typed over. Apparently I didn't hit insert like I was supposed to. Well, this is supposed to be a 23, so I want to be here. Second INS, there we go. Well, I hit it twice. Second insert and then type in the 19. There we go. So those are some ways that you can edit your data. Once you've edited your data, remember that what we want to do is to get the sum of this first column. And this really goes along with um, the PowerPoint um, that works this out by hand. So I'm just doing the calculator uh, portion here. So as we look at this, we want the sum of list one. So we want to quit out of this menu. So hit second quit then we want to press the list menu which is above the stack key so second 
stat. And I'm trying to get this to focus a little bit better. And once we're in second stat, we want to go over to the math menu and down to number five, which is the sum. We have to tell it which list we want to sum. In our case, that will be list one. And press enter. That is the sum of list one. That's the sum of our values. We need to divide that by the number of values we have. So if I press the divide key, that brings up the previous answer, then five. So if I divide that by five, that will give us the mean of 15. Next, we want to go to stat, then edit and we want to edit list two and list two we want to arrow up to the top and that's going to be our X's or our list ones which are our values minus our mean which is 15. If we press enter here notice we were on the highlighted part of L2 our formula shows up here at the bottom and then when I press enter it calculates every one of those values for us. That's part of the calculation. We don't need to do anything with it, but by doing that we can then come over here to list three. Whoops, I went over too far. I'm getting button happy here. And then come up again highlighting list three and we want to square list two. So we're going to go second L2 and then hit the X squared button here. And that's going to square each of list two data values. Now we need to take the sum of list three so we're going to go second, quit, get out of that menu, go back to the list menu by hitting the second and then the stat button, over to math, down to sum. Again, we're hitting the list three. And to find the variance, we take this sum and divide by n minus 1. So this time we won't divide by 5, but by 1 less than that, which would be 4. And that gives us 60.5, which is the sample variance. And then to get the sample standard deviation, we take that value. And we could, in this case, type out 60.5 very easily, but it's some of the answers are very complicated. So if you'll hit second and then A and S, that'll bring up the previous answer. Close the parentheses and press enter. And that is the sample standard deviation. And you will need to round that answer according to your particular teacher's instructions. And to check this answer, you can check it against the calculator calculating the standard deviation in the mean by pressing stat, calculate, whoops, calculate, and then choosing one variable statistics by pressing one or enter. Always get in the habit of telling it which list your data is in, which I will tell it it's in list one, our original data, and then pressing enter. Notice X bar stands for the mean, which is 15, and it won't give us the variance, but it gives us that same decimal of 7.778, so on and so forth, for the standard devia sample standard deviation of S, the X telling us it's on the X values that we put in. Uh, so you're just really ignoring the X. We're looking for that S. The sigma here would be if it were a population, but we are talking about a sample, so we will use the S there. And that gives you how to do the list 
and to do the sample standard deviation by hand using those lists on an 84. And again, this is the companion video to the one on the PowerPoint. Um, I hope this was helpful. Thank you very much.